Yo yeah, guys, what's going on? It's your boy C4 here, and in today's video we're going to be looking at Trade Dragon in Valorant. So if you already played something like CS, you might already know about this, so this isn't really for you. This is just for the kind of new guys, or the casual players, or the ones that are looking to kind of play at a high level in Valorant and don't already know about this. Um, so it's something that's really important in team-based games where you're kind of like pushing a bomb site. Um, and basically it's for the kind of support players to know about or just like the riflers in general. Um, it's not really for an entry fragger to know. I mean, they should know about it, they should be aware about it, but it's not their problem basically in game. Um, so basically what it's about is um, kind of following up on your entry fragger pushing into a position. So as an example here on double doors towards B on Haven. Um, so if your entry fragger is pushing in here as a support, you might want to smoke this anyway. Smoke just so it's one less angle to worry about and that is quite a good angle for the defending side um, uh, so obviously your entry is going to be pushing in, he's going to be pre-aiming all this kind of stuff and most of the time there's going to be someone that he's going to take a challenge with especially in a position like this um, so they might not always get the kill, might get some damage down on this guy here um, so a lot of the time you play, you'll see someone playing kind of like this or maybe up in the window, but so that's smoked in this situation. Um, so as a support or a trade fragger, you're going to come in behind your entry. So say your entry is about here, he's taking that fight. He's going to call out to you. He's seen someone on seashore. He's tagged him. Maybe I don't know, like 70 damage, and you can swing out and get this kill. That's going to put you back in the advantage. If it was 5v5, it's now 4v4. Um, there's probably only one person on the C bomb site, so that just makes it even better for you as an attacker. One thing to actually note about this is that sometimes it might not be a favourable situation to actually get the trade. Um, so, say there's a Sage playing here and your teammate dies to them. If you're here and the Sage throws like a slow orb down, um, to peak this, you're going to either make a lot of noise in the slow orb, or you're going to have to shift walk into it. Which really, you don't want to be shift walking into a fight, um, it's really not favourable. She She's going to know you're there as well if you're if you're kind of like running in that slow orb, it makes a lot of noise. Um, so in a situation like that, you might want to just think about backing out. You know, it's not worth the risk. Um, you're potentially, I know you're looking to level it out into a 4v4, but actually in a position like that, it's probably like a 90% chance that you're actually just going to make it a 3v5 which really isn't favourable for your team. The only other thing to really say about this is just that obviously it's quite easy to do in a team because you've got that communication there. When you're playing like competitive or casual something like that it's probably going to be a lot harder and you're going to have to work off like kind of visual cues um, or sound cues so say your teammate is pushing into this position you can still smoke it for him um, but you just need to be aware that like your teammate's here, he's ready to push in, he might not have told you, but if you're around this area, you should just be going with him anyway. Um, it's, you know, you might get shouted at, they might be like, oh, why are you baiting me or something like that, but actually, this is the right play to make. I mean, don't bait your teammate, try and help him, try and keep him alive, because obviously you want that player to be alive, puts you in a better position. Um, but like what I was talking about, so, say your teammate pushes into here, um, he might not say that there's one short, but you're going to see bullets come flying across. Um, if you see bullets like flying there, it's over that, you know, they're around this kind of area. They can't be up on window, because you can't shoot that. Obviously as well, they might they might see something on the minimap, so uh, you might see like a red question mark come up kind of like in this area. Um, right obviously you can see the player's line of sight as well on the minimap, so you can kind of see where they were looking. Um, if a player is pushing in like this, this is more of a kind of support thing rather than a trade fragger thing. Um, but really, if he's kind of aiming here, you should probably come in, kind of aiming other angles for him as he peeks. Um, that's all just kind of like support player things. Um, so I think I think that's like it really for trade fragging. I hope that was useful. Um, if you want to see kind of more stuff around these kind of skills that you need to play at a higher level. Um, this is definitely something that you need in a team and just let me know down below in the comments or just drop a like so that I know that you've actually enjoyed this um, and then until next time guys thanks for watching and see you next time